The quick elevator pitch of the movie is it's a kindergarten class caught in a zombie apocalypse and the only way that they survive um, is the quick thinking of their kindergarten teacher who's played by Lupita Nyong'o. And so she not only stops them from literally being eaten, she has to stop their minds from being corrupted by the horrors that are around them. So she pretends the whole thing's a game. So it's that's the quick pitch. I mean, it's a lot of other things. It's a horror movie, obviously. It's a comedy. It's a romantic comedy. It's a buddy movie. It's a musical. It's 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 a bunch of things and genres kind of meshed together to ultimately say something about the human condition, which comes from what a child can teach us and uh, about ourselves and about the world. But then, so that well, the the kind of the character that that holds this whole thing together is um is based on. He's not based on me, but he's certainly he has aspects of, of who I was before I became a father. And he's yeah. a, he's a failed musician who is not in the right place. He's not in a place that he's very comfortable with in his yeah. life. And he's certainly pushed away his 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 girlfriend, his ex partner. He's pushed away her because he's frightened of being a father. Yeah. And that is something that I, I was at one point in my life before I had my son. Um, so so it's taking that type of uh, that type of universal kind of thing, which a lot of males go through before they uh, before they have their their kids, which is, am I ready? Am I? Uh, is this even something that I want? And um, so it's pushing that to an extreme. Yeah. Um, and then you know he, because he breaks up with his girlfriend, he's forced to spend time on his sister's couch. And spend a lot of time with his five-year-old nephew. So all of a sudden, he has to spend time with the, the thing that he feared having the most. Well, so so this movie's actually... I mean, it's based on my son's first year of kindergarten. And my son has a number of like very uh, serious and severe food allergies. Um, and as a result of which, he'd never been out of my care before he went to kindergarten. So it was terrifying for me to have to hand him over to someone else. And they were responsible for his very specific health needs. He lucked out, he had this incredible kindergarten teacher who not only um, looked after him, but also I saw her, how she opened up his eyes to the world away from me, his father. And it just made me realise how important teachers, I knew how important teachers were, but kindergarten teachers specifically. Um, so, so this movie's kind of a love letter to kindergarten teachers and everything that they do for us and our children. It's also a love letter to my son as well too. So... It's um, it's everything that he's taught me about the world is tied into the characters and events of this movie. Oh, no question, the most challenging part of this movie was making a horror movie with eleven five-year-old kids. Like it, it was awful. It was absolutely awful. But it was also you know because it meant that we had to set up the the world. Miss Caroline, played by Lupita, protects these children from just the most extreme things that you know the zombies or but some extreme adult behaviour in this movie as well. We were having to protect the kids through from these sorts of things when we filmed the movie too, which meant sh setting up the entire shoot in a way which was shielding them, but also, but also, you know, the, putting some things in front of them that would get a certain type of reaction that we needed to tie into the story. So, yeah. so it was, um, it, it, and it, I knew that if I protected them and set up the shoot in the right way, their reactions that they gave us would be so truthful too that they would be something that would become universal for the audience. I mean, casting was everything with this movie, and and to just you know talk about Lapita um, for a second, my son's kindergarten teacher, you know, meant so much to my son, and 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 you know what she, what she did for him, um, there was a lot that that I felt like I needed to communicate through the casting of that role, in the right way to to say how important kindergarten teachers are, and Lapita for me had the strength. Um, and the playfulness and the truth that would be able to do that justice. And, and you know, she, you know, she, Lupita had to do so much in this movie. She had to um, sing, she had to play the ukulele, she had to uh, cut zombies' heads off with a shovel, she had to protect these kids, keep the sense of fun and wonder alive for them, and then also just deal with the pressure of, of what that would mean in reality too. And... And she hits every one of those notes, you know, with the the, the, the right truth and strength that they that they needed. Um, so for, in my mind, she was the only person that could ever play that role. We were really fortunate that our um, our special effects makeup team won. They won the Oscar for Fury Road. They're a company called Odd Studio in Australia, and they're, they're amazing, obviously, because they've won an Oscar. But they came on board and really, they'd never made a zombie movie before. So 
neither had I, but it was like, so it was a really exciting chance for a company like that to really run rampant and, you know, and, and go to town. And I just basically gave them free reigns of just any idea that you have, just do it because yeah. do what, what you've always wanted to see in a zombie movie. So, um, yeah, so it was really, you know, it was tricky because we had a low budget and, and you know, a truncated shoot time. So they were incredible in just making sure that it felt like it was a zombie movie that would have come out of a Hollywood studio, for instance. You know, their makeup has such a level of playfulness, but also detail too, and it's scary when it needs to be, and it's funny when it needs to be. And they really understood the balance of, you know, what I was going for totally with the movie. The one really nice thing about travelling with this movie and showing it to audiences around the world, um, and why I'm excited about it, you know, having a place now in North America on Hulu so people can see it there, is that... Um, and this is only something I've discovered, you know, recently through showing the movie. Everything that my son taught me, um, which, you know, inspired the movie and, and fed into the movie, I've now seen through travelling how other people relate to that and how universal the experience that I've had with him and the truth of, of my relationship with him means to other people. And it's been really lovely to be able to then... He gave me the impetus to make this movie and now I've been able to share it with people and, and, and see see that this this thing that, that, that I felt with him is actually something that we all have in different ways. So, yeah, it's just been a, you know, a privilege to be able to share it. Mm -hmm.